Thank you for taking five minutes out of your day to learn about Ohio's Automated Prescription Reporting System, or ORS. My name is Jennifer Hayhurst, and I work on the OSMA's Legal Services Group. I'm hoping that by listening to this presentation, you will have another tool out there to help you when making a sometimes difficult decision regarding whether or not to prescribe a controlled substance to one of your patients. There have been some shocking statistics that have recently been released regarding the extent of the prescription drug overdose epidemic in the state of Ohio. Many state agencies, including the Ohio Department of Health, consider this problem an epidemic. In 2007, unintentional drug poisoning or unintentional drug overdoses surpassed motor vehicle crashes and suicide as the leading cause of injury deaths in the state of Ohio. And the statistics state that on average, more than three people die each day in Ohio due to drug-related poisonings. I think that ORS is a wonderful tool for many physicians. I think it is important for physicians who may only encounter this situation once in a while in their practice, all the way up to an emergency department physician who may encounter this type of situation every hour. Uh, the database is a wonderful tool for helping physicians spot patients who may have devious drug-seeking behavior, such as doctor shopping and pharmacy shopping. Uh, it also will help identify patients who may be involved in overuse, misuse, abuse, and diversion of controlled substances. How many times have you, as a physician, thought to yourself, I wish there was some way to know whether or not the patient sitting in front of me has had several prescriptions for controlled substances. If you, you had that feeling that this person is not being honest with you and you wish you had some sort of tool to check to see this patient's prescribing history, this is exactly that tool. Ohio's prescription drug database is overseen by the Ohio Board of Pharmacy, and the database contains dispensing information for all controlled substances, as well as carisoprodol and tramadol. ORS registration is somewhat simple, especially when comparing it to registering for an Ohio license or going through a health plan's credentialing process. Comparatively speaking, again, it is quite simple. It is important to note that physicians must register with ORS to review patient prescription history. So how simple is this registration process? Well, first you want to go to the Prescription Drug Database website, which is www.ohiopmp.gov, and that will give you all the registration information that you need. There will be a registration form that you need to fill out, and then you have to have it notarized. Then you send that notarized form and a required proof of ID to the Ohio Board of Pharmacy. It'll take about seven to 10 days for your registration to become active. And now just a few facts about the prescription drug database. The prescription information is downloaded into the system once a week. The system is not a real-time system and therefore the data in the system is about 12 days behind. There's two years worth of data in the system and normally there's about a 30 second turnaround time for report. It's important to note that physicians will not be held civilly liable for seeking or not seeking information from the database. So who has access to the ORS information? Physicians, of course, have access to it. APNs and physician assistants with prescribing privileges. Pharmacists are able to access the information as well as put information into the system. State, federal, or local officers are allowed to use the information, but only during the course of an investigation. And finally, an individual is allowed to obtain a copy of their own report from the pharmacy board. And now for the rules. You knew there would be rules. There are certain stipulations for physicians who are using the information in the database. First off, there has to be a physician-patient relationship. The patient must have had a scheduled appointment and or the prescriber has to have a patient chart or some record of the patient. It's important that physicians never give patients a copy of the report. As was discussed before, if a patient wants a copy of their own report, they must contact the pharmacy board. If you have questions about registering for ORS or just general questions about the ORS database, it is best to go to the source. Take that question to the Ohio State Board of Pharmacy. You can either phone them or send them an email, and to date they have been very quick to respond to physicians' questions and concerns about the database. 
Thank you for taking five minutes out of your day to learn more about Ohio's prescription drug database. I hope that you will use this information in your practice to make the practice of medicine more satisfying and less complicated.